by Kathleen Ronning Associated Press Sacramento, a record heat wave put California in a fossil fuel conundrum, the state has had to rely more heavily on natural gas to produce electricity and avoid power outages while Democratic Governor. Gavin Newsom's administration moves toward ending the use of oil and gas. The heat wave that started more than a week ago has been hotter and longer than any other, and it has put unprecedented strain on power supplies. That prompted Newsom to plead with people to use less power to avoid rolling blackouts, a practice that involves cutting some people's power to save energy so the lights can stay on for everyone else. That effort has worked, but meeting the state's heightened energy demand also required activating generators fueled by natural gas, which is still a major part of the state's power picture. The governor's calls for conservation also drew criticism about new state policies governing electric vehicles and other measures that will only increase energy demand. If you're an elected official, you need to keep the lights on, said Ken Alex a top climate official for former California governor. The state might have to turn to older fossil fuel technology for the next two to three years while it builds more battery storage and other renewable resources, Alex said. It's constantly this balance, we have got to get away from fossil fuels, but we also need to get there, he said. Tuesday's demand for 52,000 megawatts set a record, as triple-digit temperatures blanketed much of the state. Sacramento hit a record high of 116 degrees, and normally cooler places like San Francisco and San Diego also reached sizzling temperatures. But the demand will only climb in the years ahead. By 2045, when the state is mandated to get all of its electricity from non-carbon or renewable sources, demand is expected to be as high as 78,000 megawatts due to more electric home appliances and cars on the road, according California Energy Commission estimates. To meet that demand, both the government and major utilities like Pacific Gas and Electric are working to scale up renewable sources such as solar and wind power, as well as large-scale batteries that can store that power for use at night. The California Public Utilities Commission last year ordered utilities to procure enough additional power for two. 5 million homes by 2026. Newsom has also pushed to keep the state's last nuclear plant open beyond its planned closure in 2025. The sun is typically the state's biggest power source during the day. But as the hot weather arrived, natural gas surpassed renewables for more time over the past week, according to the California Independent System Operator, which is responsible for managing and maintaining reliability on the state's power grid. Gas was the primary energy source all day on Tuesday, the expected peak of the brutal temperatures.